You are now watching Showbiz Now, your daily showbiz update. Hindi nga lingid sa marami at very open nga ang aktresa na si Maxine Magalona na i-open na tila dumaan nga ito sa matinding depresyon. Hinggil na rin ito sa hiwalayan nila ng kanyang asawa. Narito naman ang ibinahagi nitong si Maxine Magalona para sa pagpapakasal. Well, sa kanyang Instagram, sinabi ni Maxine na most important lesson that I learned from my marriage. Say ni Maxine sa kanyang pagpapakasal. Give yourself to God before you give yourself away. Yan nga ang naging payo ng nasabing aktres. I believe one of the reasons why most relationships don't work is because people come into them with unresolved trauma and unprocessed pain from childhood. When two wounded souls come together, no matter how great things are at the beginning, they will end up unconsciously projecting their traumas and pain onto, other, onto each other if neither of them do the inner work to heal. Yan nga ang naging pagbabahagi nitong si Maxine. Patuloy niya, this is where conscious coupling comes in instead of just dating and courting each other at the beginning of a relationship. I highly recommend having a very honest conversation about your intentions as to why you want to have a relationship in the first place. Get real and vulnerable by discussing things like your past traumas, mistakes, and heartaches, things that trigger you, your fears and uncertainties. It's nice to have fun and light-hearted conversations, especially at the start of a relationship, but I believe what will truly make it last is when we can just be completely honest with each other and have deep and meaningful conversations, especially the uncomfortable ones. This will help you determine whether or not you want to continue with a relationship and if you think it will work. This will save your time and unnecessary pain. Yan nga ang naging pagbabahagi nitong si Maxine. Aniya, if you are currently in a happy and stable relationship, I encourage you to constantly ask each other how you feel and hold space for each other with no judgment. Spend quality time and be present. Cry about your worries and fears and then laugh about them together too. If you are in an unhappy relationship, it's best to have an honest heart-to-heart -heart conversation and ask yourselves if it is worth holding on to something that isn't making your soul smile anymore or if it is better to just gracefully and lovingly let go so that both of you can move on to the things that are truly meant for you. Yan nga ang naging say ni Maxine. If you are single, focus on working on yourself and embody the traits that you want in a partner. Heal so that you can be a better human. Offer your healing to God and He will bring you in an alignment or alignment with your soul mate. Well, ito nga ang naging pagbabahagi ni Maxine sa mga nagpakasal na naghiwalay, sa mga nagkakaroon ng problema ngayon, at sa mga dalaga or binata pa or single. But anyway, I think masasabi natin na kapag talaga ang Panginoon na naging center ng inyong buhay, lahat magiging maayos kasi talagang yung conviction ng Holy Spirit ang mag-aayos nito at magbibigay sa inyo ng liwanan. Well, narito pa ang naging pagbabahagi ni Maxine, kamakailan lamang sa kanyang Instagram. Narito ang naging kwento ni Maxine. I truly believe that nothing in this universe happens by chance. What means to be always be, just like when I met Kuya Von Eric, a kind at grab that PH driver who picked me up for work one day. I really like booking at grab PH car rides, especially when I have to go taping or a movie shoot since I don't have my own car and driver. Plus, I believe that whoever accepts my booking on the apps is someone the universe wants me to cross paths with for a purpose. When Kuya Von and I got to take Talking, he shared with me how he lost his wife to COVID just last year. He was honest and vulnerable enough to share with me his pain and the struggle of losing his life partner and suddenly becoming a single dad to their growing kids. He told me that it was the most difficult time of his life and yet his faith God never wavered. He understood that this was part of his life purpose to go through this pain so that he can be strong enough to continue living for him and his children. 
Ever since then, he decided to put this beautiful prayer in his car so that his passengers will be reminded of God's unconditional love for all of us. I admire souls like we have won. The ones who don't, lie, who don't let life's trials and challenges hold them back from living fully and wholeheartedly. The ones who go through so much pain and suffering and still choose to stand and smile to be able to show others that peace is possible after pain. Bahagi ni Maxine ang prayer na sinasabing, Dear God, in your strong hands, I place my life today, choosing to depend on you to light and guide my way. Well, yun nga ang ating nakaka-inspire na kwento kung saan ay tila ang grab driver na ito ay talagang binigyan ng magandang sagot sa depression itong si Maxine Magalona. Yan ang ating showbiz update. Images are all credit to the rightful owners and thank you for watching Showbiz Love.